Next up, after COVID forced two years away from the stage, Letters to Cleo is hitting the road again. The Boston-based alternate rock band first rose to fame in the 90s with hits like this one. That's Letters to Cleo's 2016 show at the Paradise Rock Club in Alston, shortly after they released their first recording in 17 years. It was first of what became an annual tradition of homecoming shows there. That was until the pandemic. But now they're back, kicking off a mini tour in California later this week, returning home once again to the Paradise next weekend. I'm joined now by lead singer Dorchester's own Kay Hanley. Kay, it's great to see you again. Hey, Jim. Good to see you. So last time you were here... You were about to do Hot Stove Cool Music virtually. Have you performed in front of human beings in the last couple of years? You haven't, have you? Have you? No. <laughs> no, I haven't. So how, no. how strange, is this like riding a bike? Or how no, strange is this? No, it's definitely, it's not like riding a bike. <laughs> what do you mean? It's like, it's like, um... I, I, I can't really liken it to anything else. I mean, I... I I, I know how to do the thing that we have to do, which is, you know, play these songs that we wrote and we played together a zillion times. But there is um, there's kind of a trust fall that goes into playing live for people that becomes I, I guess it you stop perceiving it that way because you do it so much. And um, and after everything that we've all been through, I don't know if people know how to be an be in an audience, be an audience member anymore. I don't know if I know how to perform anymore. And so it's, it's, it feels extremely, it feels uncomfortable, but in a way that is the best place for, in my experience, for art to come from. Um, so, and I also know that, um, that the relationship that we have with our audience that we've built over the last 25 years, years 30 years um it's gonna be okay you know you're making and me even nervous if it's not and okay, i'm not even still part gonna... of the band by the way <laughs> how much but, but that's the thing even if it's not okay it's still totally gonna be okay how much fun is it to get back with your bandmates and and do this is it huge i assume it's it's great i mean we the reason that we do this is because hey it's my new husband <laughs> Hi, husband. I just got married, by the way. What'd you say? They're saying, G GBH is saying hello. Hello there. How are you? <laughs> I just, I got married last weekend, so. You did? Um, yeah. And <laughs> congratulations. And that wasn't part of the press package, so like, <laughs> it's just between, it's just between me and you, Jim. Well, thank it's you. It's like, it'll just be our little, like, this is just like friends talking amongst friends. He's not in the band, uh, is he? No, no, no. Okay. Fine. No, my ex-husband's in a band. Great. That's perfect. It's very, it's all very, Perfect yeah. symmetry. It's, I got that down. It's a big, it's a big happy family, Letters to Cleo is. So I know um, people are going to the Paradise <laughs> to see you uh, a weekend after next. I'll give the dates in a minute. Is Who's your audience? Is it mostly people who loved you from the 90s? Is there a new element to who comes out? Who comes out? That's a really good question, and I'm glad you asked. Mm. Um, a lot of we, we will be seeing people at the Paradise that um, that we've been seeing since that predate even Letters to Cleo, like people that ca came to see me, my and Greg's first band in like 1988 at TT mm. the Bears. Like oh, we will see oh some God. of those people, which is amazing. And then it will be people that have been following us, you know, since the 90s when we had, you know, songs on the radio. And then there are people that did not get to know us until um, we did 10 Things I Hate About You and Josie and the Pussycats. And then like, then on top of that will be like my kids their friends, like my nieces and nephews and their <laughs> friends who have become... So it's just like, it's literally three generations of people. Oh, you know, and, and our parents. Kay, so. uh, it, more than performing now, you've been doing songwriting big time, particularly for TV animation and that sort of stuff for a while. But I want to spend mm -hmm. about a minute on... You co-founded a really important organization, Songwriters of North America. Tell people... Mm -hmm. Briefly, if you can, what are the issues that you and your colleagues are trying to address? Jim, you're asking like the best questions today. Thank you, kindly. Thank you. 
<laughs> Your husband called um, me before and he told me what to ask, so that's, <laughs> that's a deal. But tell us, tell us. Okay, so Songwriters of North America was um, was conceived by, was launched by uh, me and my songwriting partner, Michelle Lewis. She and I have been writing in animation for a long time. We did all the music for Doc McStuffin. We started with Doc McStuffins. That was like our first gig in this area, and we've been writing music for cartoons mm -hmm. ever since. Um, Michelle and I discovered, as we were kind of like holed up in our studio um, doing you know, work for hire stuff that wasn't really on the radio, we didn't realize what had been going on in streaming. Mm -hmm. um, we discovered in about 2014, 15, through a series of events that, um, that songwriters were getting uniquely, um, can I say the word screwed? Screwed. Screwed, yeah. thank you. Uniquely screwed in, uh, in the streaming music economy. Mm -hmm. And um, and which is where the the music business is, and I, I just want to make sure that it's clear we are not against streaming. I love streaming. You want to get I have paid. never listened. I have never listened to more music in my life. Yeah. I've never discovered more music in my life. But songwriters are not getting paid fairly. There are a lot of reasons for that, and um, and songwriters of North America is the fastest growing songwriter advocacy Sweet. organization in the world and we are fighting for this on this issue every single day well, so join I, sona i listened to you a lot streaming this weekend i hope you made money on it and i hope you do great at the paradise <laughs> and it's great to see you again and say congratulations to your new husband too please thank you jim great to see you great to see you kay